This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni and pizza. Production services by Sidekick Media Services. And listeners like you supporting us at patreon.com slash awesomecast. It's time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the awesome cast. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on all the social medias. Yes, still all the social medias. And at uh, Sorgatron Media here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is a Friday afternoon. I finished some of my calls here while I was in town for a whole two days. Um, obviously, we haven't didn't have a show on Tuesday. We are not going to have one next week because of uh, travels and things like that. Yes, Disney was amazing, uh, and Missy loved it for her birthday. Uh, but maybe we'll talk about that some other time. Obviously, uh, it has been an interesting week, um, and uh, with all the kind of discussions and conversations I've been seeing on social media, or even you know in person here as we were doing some work on uh, Thursday night for our training nights out in uh, New Kensington, um, I thought it was appropriate to do a little bit of a check in with everybody um, on a few things that will hopefully help people and uh, their mind state right now if you are um, uh, I guess I will say emotionally impacted by the results of uh, this week and the uh, uh, happenings here in the US uh, so I, I just wanted to kind of do a touch base and say hi how you doing I hope you're doing okay I hope you're uh, 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 taking care of yourself um, and, uh, you know what, we're, we're still going to be here and we're going to have conversations and, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, it's, it is what it is. Uh, here we go. Uh, but you can do some things. I hope that will help people, um, navigate things better, share this, uh, uh, uh kind of deal with the wave of, you know, we know the kind of stuff that's happening on social media. You know, we've been through a version of this before and it's going to get really, uh, interesting, um, as we go through the next uh, few, um, you know, years of, of things. So, um, I want to, some of this is going to be a lot of review, but also this is going to be addressing a few things that have come up over the last few days. Uh, I want to address uh, three major things, um, that, um, again, we, we discuss a lot on the show and, and just want to reiterate them, uh, for anybody new or reminders. I had to be reminded of some of these this week as a lot of these conversations were happening and there was a really good rundown uh, of some of these, um, that I was reminded or, or shown new ones. Uh, uh, through other shows. So, so we're going to talk about news sources. We're going to talk about, um, you know, being on social media and how you're going to take care of your mindset on social media. Uh, I am really big on mindful social media. The ones that people are think are absolute cesspools. I actually feel that I have a, um, I actually feel that I have a pretty good, um, um, feed for what I'm doing, at least on some of them. So I want to talk about a little bit of that and also new platforms. I've seen uh, people have asked me about how do I get on, you know, X platform, you know, what should I be doing here? I'm leaving one. And if you feel compelled and, and I'm not saying you need to be on every platform I know, and, and, but if you don't feel comfortable to be on a platform or don't want to support somebody, Absolutely. You do not have to be anywhere in social media. Um, you can feel that you have. I feel that I should be on them because of what I do and, and the audiences I do want to reach. Um, but uh, and personally, I hope to be a, a positive influence even in the muck. And I think that is uh, to me, I feel like that's an important thing to be a positive um, a voice, a reasonable voice in, in, in the unreasonable uh, so that's why I still subscribe to have all the apps on my phone. You know, if I think it's useful and, and have some conversation, and I, I, you know, it's there. First, let's get into that first part I was talking about. Let's talk about kind of the sources and how we're kind of vetting things. Um, and I know there's not going to be a lot of people in the chat room since we're a Friday afternoon. I didn't even announce this thing. Um, this is just a German idea I had this morning, <laughs> to be quite honest. Um, but, uh, uh, first of all, let's talk about those sources. Um, you know, we, we talk about, we're, we're heading in AI and, uh, you know, I want to remind people of something actually Katie brought up on the show a couple of weeks ago. And, uh, there was this one called truemedia.org uh, that you can go and sign up for. So it is a deep fake detector. You can drop links in there from TikTok, X, Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, true social, um, I, I didn't even notice that last one there. I, I, I have found it uh, actually difficult because I am spending more time on things like threads and blue sky. Uh, and there's not anything in there for, for that to be uh, an, an issue there. 
Uh, but you, this is, you know, they do have algorithms and things to help you out. Like there's this, things like this, you know, a picture of uh, the two presidential candidates together. Is this real or fake? Uh, fans create a Swifties for Trump. Um, you know, Mexican president brandishes a menorah. Uh, you know, is this real? And, and it really kind of goes through stuff and like, hey, here are the big notable deep fakes you probably saw or something like that. Uh, so it, it's a really good service for that. Uh, and then they say it's non-part, non-profit, non-partisan and free free. Uh, so no biases here, um, you know, at least on the surface and everything like that. And uh, so you can kind of go through that. Uh, they do have donations and stuff and you can sign up for the account and really get into uh, their tools and be able to load some more stuff in uh, f- through that. Uh, upload media, social posts. So I guess you can upload media if you you know take a screen cap or something on your phone and send it to something like this. Um, so again, that's truemedia.org. And again, we talked about this a couple weeks ago. Fake images of, here, this applies to me. I was actually looking at this. Fake images of Hurricane Milton uh, flooding uh, Disney World from a, from a Russian account. So um, this is something that, you know, it's not just an election thing. This is something that's going to continue to happen for a lot of different reasons. And it's going to be really important to, uh, unfortunately, more so than ever, second guess what you're seeing on your social media feeds. Um, because a lot of reasons, a lot of people can be motivated to do it scams for instance, uh, any other kind of thing. Um, so, uh, it, what are, what are the, you know, it'd be really interesting to kind of see what social media does in the next couple of years, if they even bother, uh, to do anything, um, uh, uh, about fakes and deep fakes on accounts and stuff. We know there's been some state, um, um, movements, uh, that have not gone anywhere because they've been a little, you know, legislating technology and fast moving technology is always, a a a frustrating thing uh it seems so the other side is um you know it, it is also you know I, and i find myself in these traps and i think a lot of us do uh from time to time but um you know making sure we're not um looking you know confirmation bias make sure we're not in the in in the uh, 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 well, yeah, echo chamber, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, and, and sites that, and sometimes, and sometimes for your own mindfulness, you kind of roll with it, of course, but I, I think it's really important to kind of look at that. You know, I, I have been, you know, when something big is going on, uh, I had manually, I would go to Fox news and CNN and see, you know, okay, what's the vibe? It, 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 again, it's a vibe check, um, rather than just like the news, uh, and try to keep pretty steady with things, um, really prune the sources that are on uh, uh, my news app on Apple. Um, but even that, uh, honestly, I think I've rolled out most uh, politics and world news, and it just uh, yeah, it give me video game and technology news <laughs> and comic books. So, uh, and, and that's a big mindfulness, and we'll get we'll get to that in a moment. But in the meantime, I think uh, some of these other sites are very very good. Uh, one that I I've known of for a while is a site called allsides.com. Um, it's very good because it's uh, it, it gives you you know what is what is a center publication doing, what is one on the right, one is one on the left saying, so you can really uh, see you know you know again quote unquote all sides of what's going on here. Uh, so it, it helps you um, kind of navigate what's going on there. Um, so, you know, and, and again, I, I really think you, you really need to second guess anything from these, uh, uh, you know, any of these sources on one side or another, um, because, you know, re, you know, reality is probably somewhere in the middle, uh, as they say. So, um, so if you're watching one or the other to celebrate or doom and gloom over things, you know, it may not be as good or as bad as it sounds, uh, because of the, uh, the slant that you usually get on something like this. So, um, but, uh, it, it's very good about like, you know, <laughs> you know there's a, da, 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 let me get something that's uh, a little more interesting here. Um, unfortunately everybody is about exactly what you think it would be about uh, okay i'll just go with it you know how does the presidential win going to affect the u.s economy you know from the left it says you know you know get ready for inflation interest rates to rise again from the center they're saying wall street is salivating over a new t- trump boom which is which is accurate because everybody's really you know obviously you're seeing that in the stock market and things and that article is reflecting that and on the right side uh trump's tariffs would drive up consumer price national retail federation which actually that's actually surprising from the right side I thought they'd be celebrating that right 
Um, but uh, yeah, gives you an idea of what's going on there. Um, and, and it's not just politics. I mean, it's going to be a lot of politics, but it is going to be a lot of stuff. Like there's some Israeli soccer fans were attacked in the Netherlands. This is one story that's popped up on here. You know, things of that nature. So I, I definitely recommend that. There is an app for your phone, uh, Google and Apple stores, if you want that directly uh, as well. And, um, and and they are asking, I don't think there's a paid subscription, but there is an investment um, tab on that if you're interested in that. So uh, you can explore that. Uh, I guess it's kind of more of a P, not PBS model, but uh, something like that. Um, another one, I have not dived into this a lot, but it was another option for this. And this uh, does, I believe, be, uh, turn into a kind of a paid subscription. Uh, this was one that was mentioned on, um, what was I listening to? This Week in Google. I know it was a really good source. That, and also, I will recommend that episode this week. Uh, they have a, they think called the aftermath for the elections. Um, they have a good discussion about what the new uh, perceived administration is going to mean for technology. You know, um, there's a lot of things I don't talk a bit about online uh, when it comes to things like this until it's something about technology because that is something that I follow. Obviously, doing this show every week and things like that. Um, so that's one where I will speak up on certain things to say, "Hey, this is this is bullshit. This is this, this, or this." Um, but you know, but so, so, and I think, I think, uh, uh, Twig does a very good job of having those, uh, uh, discussions and, and, and informing and things like that. So, um, but anyways, um, and I might have to go here cause I think I'm going to call from another job right now. So, uh, do, 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 do live on the air. Um, <clears throat> And uh, take a moment there, and we'll we'll kind of uh, roll through this. Grounded dot news is one that they said um, on the other thing. So um, uh, obviously, um, you know, a, a kind of a, a similar thing. Uh, my understanding of this from, I, and again, just starting, I'm starting to poke through this in the last like kind of 24 hours. Kind of a very uh, similar thing. It, it waits how much people are talking about it on one way or another. Here's something uh, Jack Smith asked the judge to suspend deadlines on in Trump January 6th state uh, uh, case. You can see, um, you can see like, you know, 32, 33% left are talking about this centers, 34% right, 33%. So it gives you kind of an idea of where the discussions are happening and um, you know, and everything like that. Um, just a real quick thing. Um, but anyway, so that's the idea there. Uh, so so it, it does it does have a subscription kind of situation and everything like that. Um, so so that's that's a kind of kind of a, a good good process there. Um, it, it, again, it also does have the um, it does have a app kind of situation here. Yep. Still, I'm still multitasking uh, <laughs> and everything. So, uh, and I like that because you're not dealing with the cookie pop-ups that seem to still come up no matter how many times you say, say okay, or any kind of ad based things that, you know, get kind of funky when you're on the mobile like that. Right. So um, go check that out. And um, you, you can, you can hopefully find some good sources with that. Now with the new stuff out of the way, um, let's talk about social media for a moment. I want to remind people, you know, if you're on a platform, I don't want to necessarily roll out of things. Uh, and again, this is, I do understand. I speak from a certain point of privilege here, uh, myself, but I, I feel like at a, at a certain point with, depending on what you're doing on social media, uh, this would apply. Um, prune, prune, prune. Okay. Uh, if you're a certain level of public figure, obviously, and getting some attention for the things you're saying on there, there's a, a only only so much is going to do. You know, our friends that are uh, pro wrestlers and things like that are going to have everybody that's going to be looking at them, for instance, right? Um, but I think if you're just a general user, day to day social media um, uh, user, reader, doom scroller, um, you know, if if you get a comment or on something, see a comment on something that you find offensive, mute, block, unfriend use those. You do not have to receive all of that. Um, one big thing that I did, uh, let's see, I guess eight years ago now, I was tired of seeing a certain person's name in my feed in general. Uh, so on what used to be Twitter, you can go in and actually mute terms. If you don't want to hear uh, anybody talking about certain people that you find absolutely maddening or topics you find absolutely maddening, maybe certain um, political topics and terms. Uh, you can go into your settings on Twitter, um, and, and other services uh, should have something similar to this. 
Um, you know, I would even put in there certain uh, slurs and things like that you don't want to see in the feed. So if people are talking like that, uh, you it will be absolutely blocked out of your feed. Um, I remember when, you know, was that probably about 2020 when everybody was overly like, I feel like that's where we got a flashpoint on social media. Right. And somebody will, you know, somebody kind of called out and saying, well, you don't want to talk about this or something. It's like, no, I want to share good information. I want to help people out that are, uh, uh, open to receive this. You obviously are not, you are just here to yell and, uh, there's no conversation to be have. Um, we talk about a lot of this. We will probably will be talking about a lot of this on our uh, Fishing Without Bait podcast. Um, you know, a lot of things about fear and 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 our, the argument party. Uh, it does it feel like something like uh, social media is is nothing but an argument party these days. I'm sure, um, but you, it does not have to be. You know, um, you know. I saw somebody's response to something on Facebook. I was like, this is somebody that I do not want them in my feed. You know. Um, um, Accepting somebody's opinion doesn't mean that you need to be um, hit over the head with it every day, uh, is is my feeling. Um, you know, unless there's a very specific reason where you do want to know, like, you know, at a certain point you need to know what people are talking about, um, you know, and, and actually talking about on an open platform. And, and you can do that, but that's not good for you every day. Uh, looking at these news items every day. You know, we talk about these apps. Please window that. Don't put them on your front page. Um, I've been putting social media things in folders. That takes an extra thing because just default, I would open something up or my email or something. Social engineer yourself on your phone. Put that st- stuff on uh, uh, all these links. I'm, I'm putting on, I want them to be surfaced so that I'm looking at them instead of the uh, bad junk food of news that may be out there. I'm putting all the links on the second page on the, like, I need to dig and think about it. It's like, I want to see what's going on. You know, I think I'm going to put Apple news on the second page. Actually, actually, no, probably not because I, I, again, I don't have anything political on there. It's all, it's all, it's all video games and stuff. Right. Uh, stuff for this show for the most part is what I have, uh, uh, kind of scheduled in there. Um, but obviously that creeps in uh, with the technology news especially. So so there's a little bit of cross there. And I think there will be more and more considering who's, uh, who's, uh, looks like they're going to become more and more involved in the political spectrum. Um, so, so there's that, you know, so mute prune, obviously, uh, uh, we can definitely be very upset at, um, you know, the new changes to mute and block, or I'm sorry, block, I think is the biggest thing over on uh, Twitter and everything like that. So, um, you know, obviously if that is a no go for you and you feel like you were, um, um, you know, could be easily victimized by that, please move on. You know, if the, if the platform is not, uh, taking care of you. And that is definitely, I would say, you know, I, I think unequivocally, uh, X is not a platform that takes care of you. It's providing, uh, it's looking for the argument because, uh, social media wins when you guys are arguing and, in quote unquote engaging. Um, so that, that is something, you know, again, we are working in somebody else's purview and how they want to uh, do a community. Right. And that's their right there. That's, that's, Hey, that's the first amendment is, is how they do the community. Right. Um, you, I won't get into that. Uh, that's a conversation for another day. Um, so let's talk about things. Maybe you don't want to be on there anymore. Maybe you do find a part. You don't want to support somebody, you know, for one reason or another uh, uh, that own the platforms or, or, you know, they've upset you for one reason or another. And that is okay. That is absolutely okay. Um, what people are already asking me about, obviously, thankfully, if you don't like Twitter, whatever the hell it's called these days, um, you do have an option. You have several options actually, uh, for community in a very similar vein, you know, um, you know, I, I, I honestly kind of think of them as, as Twitter clones, you know what I mean? Um, cause they, they've kind of taken that, um, what we'll you'll call the micro blogging idea, which is what Twitter kind of started as under text and things like that and, and moved it on. Um, again, you know, I will go with the, I will start with the, um, uh, if you don't mind Facebook and Instagram, you may already have a Threads account and don't know it. Uh, it, it, it honestly, when we talk about these, it is the easiest onboarding of them. It is um, very simple. Certain uh, uh, features that you're going to see in in Twitter, uh, which has been developed over more than a decade versus the other platforms that I'm going to talk about are, are just a couple of years old, honestly. Um, you know, within I think most of them within the last five if not much shorter. Uh, but threads obviously popped up, made the waves. Are we two years into the threads experiment? And also is threads.net 
you're probably already getting bugged by this if you're already on a, on a meta platform. And again, it is super simple, really not kind of great on the browser to be quite honest here. I can't schedule anything on this. Uh, that's why if you follow us on awesome cast, like you'll get kind of a, if like, like I scheduled out the next week since I'm going away out of town. Uh, and I still want to put little video clips out and you just gotta get a dump of them sometimes. Cause that's me working through and trying to figure it out, you know, and we're trying to figure out how to work with these new platforms too, as they develop and start adding features. Um, again, very simplistic, um, um, you know, kind of thing. Uh, we'll get to this beta that's popping up here with this on the video, but you can, you got your gifts you got your 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 you know video and imagery uh and, and it works very well uh, and again it kind of takes you back to like this feels a little bit more like twitter of uh, a, a decade ago when it was a little more simple um so i definitely appreciate this one uh, for what it is i feel like the bulk of people because it's easy onboarding again you sign up sign in with your facebook instagram account um and you are the same identity you don't have to go fill out a new profile um it will sort of automatically add everybody you already follow um from the other platforms so you know it's like oh so much so and so follow me no they already follow you over here you're not they're not seeking you out you know potentially uh kind of thing um i, I again i found it as is, I think it's the best true alternative, unfortunately, unfortunately, because it's made a meta who has their own baggage, we'll say. Uh, so take that into account, please, when you, uh, you're, you're rolling with that. Um, and we'll just double check if anybody's in. Hi, mom, mom's, mom's watching right now, by the way. So, um, <laughs> so homework, homework work. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so, so feel free to do that. Like exercise your right. You have a right to protest, a protest deletion of your account or anything like that. Um, you know, absolutely. You, you have a right to do that. Uh, the other one, this is actually from, uh, what was it? Jack Dorsey, I think is his name. Uh, that, uh, you know, one of the founders or at least owners or a uh, big influence over the decade of, uh, of Twitter, uh, went and did one, um, called blue sky. Uh, now, you know, threads is generally, um, you know, it, it's, uh, we're going to talk about federated versus, um, centralized Twitter is centralized one server, more or less one set of own servers, one idea, uh, uh, you know, whatever Twitter wants to do, you don't have a say with this. And also I will back up a second. If you're on any of those platforms that are serving ads, you are the product. If you're not paying for anything, you are the product. And obviously Twitter's changed that a little bit and is kind of annoying about it, honestly. Um, and we do pay for that service just for one of our accounts where we are trying to reach an audience that is on there. Um, and, and, and that's the decision we have to make as a business. Um, I'm not, I'm not excited about it. <laughs> you know, I'm not excited about paying eight bucks a month in order to get stats to figure out if the stuff we're putting out is working, you know, and things like that. And, and those added things don't really add up for us. Right. Uh, at least in my experience so far have not done a full analytics check. That's somebody else's department. Um, but I'm, I'm interested to see, uh, uh how that turns out. But anyways, blue sky, I, I, I feel like is, um, Probably uh, uh, the easier on board of something that is truly independent. It is a, uh, I do believe it is a nonprofit. Um, you will not see ads on it. I think it was just kind of supported. It is, a, I think is eventually supposed to be, if I'm recalling, ooh, then it's really big on the cat pics. Thank you, Ziggy Heim, I, I, you know, <laughs> for this. <laughs> so, uh, but, uh, you know, I'm starting to see, and this is a big thing, you know, reason I, you know, I always say, um, I'm waiting for wrestling Twitter to, to move over to these platforms. So I don't have to be on Twitter necessarily. Uh, you know, that's the, that's the bellwether that I have because wrestling fans are a generalized audience of different walks of life. Right. Um, and we are waiting for the more common person to find these other platforms. And as I'm seeing wrestlers go over to these platforms, Ziggy Heim, for instance, uh, uh, people on this network, you know, um, in the fans and things like that starting to move over there. And we're seeing, and you were seeing, especially this week, I have deleted my Twitter. Hey, I'm, I'm not using Twitter. I'm over here on this platform, you know, which happens every time I think Twitter puts out a new announcement for a feature change, which people are not happy with, uh, for one reason or another, you know, uh, we'll, you will see these waves. More of your friends will come. 
if 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 they're of a certain um you know you, you know more people are getting angry with that uh, uh, uh those platforms and and just saying i want to go somewhere else um and and migrating you know so um again it should be a really simple sign up i think they've gotten to a point in the last several months where there's an easy feature kind of situation you know i look for things like you know and can i easily move between the accounts because we have the podcasting accounts and everything and we do have that and that makes it so much easier whatever makes it easier for me to not decide not to take the trouble to post to this because i am somebody who wants to be on multiple platforms for the benefits of each platform and those audiences because we're trying to get this conversation out to everybody right um so i think that's really important there so i i would i would try blue sky for sure um Again, I think it's going to be federated. I, I can't remember what the what the thing is right off the, the top of my head, but I think it is your um, main true Twitter-esque from the people with the original philosophies of Twitter. Again, I talk about features. It's been a slow-moving process with this, this, this one. Uh, they don't do video yet. Um, that's why you're not going to see these things. If you want to get ready from our video clips, go to go to blue sky, uh, <laughs> for instance. Um, so, so that that's one thing there to look out for. <clears throat> the most complicated of them all is Mastodon. Um, and we talk about federated. What does federation mean when it comes to these platforms? Um, federation is going to be, um, you know, again, we talked about the single um, server point of contact, let's say, with, say, a Facebook or a Twitter, right? Um, the idea is you can go join, um, you know, go join a server, Right. Uh, when I, I signed up, I actually signed up for uh, Twit this week and Tech had a one. And that, that's where my main account actually is um, because it's on an already populated server of tech minded people and things like that. So that was like an easy way to onboard. I'm a fan of, you know, I'm part of their audience and everything and have been since before I started podcasting. Um, so, so that, that's a really nice thing with that. When you sign up for a server, you have to understand like, okay, so you have the multiple servers and the multiple servers can talk to each other. But now like, you know, Mastodon.social is a main one. I believe the foundation themselves, again, is a nonprofit organization was my understanding. Uh, if you go to Mastodon.social, you can go and sign up. And, and that's cool because, you know, that is the main source. That server is probably not going to go away. Um, and you have access to the biggest audience right off the bat. You could create a server, think like Discord or something, where you can create your own rooms or a Slack or something. But but imagine if those Discords and Slacks could talk to each other, like people on each of those could talk to each other, uh, but in a Twitter type of format. Um, you can kind of, you know, we actually have our own um, server. I have a small one. It's not really kind of open for everybody to go on, but I do uh, um, invite my co-hosts on the podcast and and everything to to use it. Uh, we have circuitronmedia.social, and that's where like the Mayhem Show Awesome Cast, you know, accounts are, are, are sitting. So we're, you know, just as a... Um, foothold into Mastodon when it starts, you know, going, when everybody starts showing up and our fan base starts showing up, you know, you want to, you know, make that, um, um, you know, make that, that foray, get your, get your username and things like that. So, so that's there. Now, as somebody on my server and Twit certainly does this, they're like, you know, they always say on their podcast, you know, uh, I want to make sure, you know, people can't see the Nazi server because, there's a Nazi monster. You, there's there's going to be white supremacy, Mastodons, or whatever topic, good, bad, evil, indifferent, okay? Um, and I can go into my things and say, hey, we're not going to put these servers out there, you know? And, and, and if, if somebody finds my server objectionable for the content we do here, they can block me as well. And then block everybody on that server because people of a like-minded thing have collected on this server, ideally. Um, and you are, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, um, you're 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 adjusting that you're, you're that audience base. Um, so uh, you know, again, join something you trust, but also like. I have to pay for that server every month. We pay, I think, something like $10 a month for that server for this experiment that we're doing because I want to own it. You know, I want to have control over it and I want to understand that process. And that's what I want to do. And uh, so you could go sign up for the server and have you.social 
or, you know, uh, or something like that, or, you know, your club, your podcast, your, uh, uh, Twitch channel can have a, have a Mastodon server, and then you can invite your audience in and everything like that. Right. But you have to manage it at that point too. The servers make it easy. You don't have to sit there and figure out how a server works, but you do have a lot of preferences and community management. That's the term I was looking for before, uh, that, that you're going to have to go through and figure out and, and make sure you're happy with it. And your fan base is happy with it too. And also you have to have a fan base that you need to invite in to that as well. Um, I find it, so I mentioned there was like a kind of a beta thing that was on the screen earlier for threads. Threads did open things up that, um, to be part of the federated universe, Fediverse, I think they call it. They, um, it's a very weird thing because, uh, it, 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 like you can go on one of these Mastodon servers, you can find, and the search is weird, kind of going cross server. That's one thing I'm having a little bit of trouble with still. But I have, I have strangely, if you follow my accounts, it's interesting because I will post something, but also share uh, the same post from the threads version. Part of my kind of experimentation to see how things work. Um, so that conversation go happen on Mastodon. The issue is, if you're on threads, you just get a notification that says, somebody on threads shared this. You don't know who it is. You don't know what they said. You can't, you can't get into the conversation. I don't believe comments pop up on there either. You just said, hey, something happened over here. And they don't have that coming through. Now, ideally, eventually, they will include that. And, and you will be able to hopefully more seamlessly interact with somebody over there. But the nice part about threads is, if you're on threads and you could check that box, Whatever you're doing on threads is already there. Hypothetically, hypothetically, <laughs> based on what they're saying, uh, you could just be on threads and also be on Mastodon Fediverse as well as one point of contact. That is not a full reality because of your contact, your, your access and everything like that. But it is a nice idea and they are moving forward with that. Again, I think... I think Blue Sky is going to do something similar in the future as well. But they are, again, very slow moving on these features and implement implementations because, again, I think they're a nonprofit, um, you know, maybe even a volunteer basis for all I know. I, I, again, I'm, I, I forget what the company structures are because I don't need to know it. Um, and it hasn't been a huge part of the news and conversation recently, uh, at least. So. so there's some options there. Hopefully this is useful. Hopefully it helps you with your mindfulness. Hopefully it helps you navigate this uh, and still be part of the conversation. And and I uh, encourage everybody, no matter where you're at, where you're lined up with things, to be a positive influence on these communities. Um, I think that is uh, 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 the strongest thing you can be right now um, with the temperature of things. And, uh, you know, I really hope everybody, um, you know, one, take care of each other. Look out for each other. Drink some water. Um, cause I know I've been heavy with the coffee the last couple of days, <laughs> just trying to keep going and, uh, and everything. So, you know, you lose yourself a little bit, uh, you know, especially when things are a bit of a whirlwind, uh, if you will. So, um, so, uh, we will be back again, I believe with the 19th, uh, we will be back and Hey, we might have somebody in the studio helping us out a little bit. So I had a really great call with, had a great couple of calls actually today, um, with some locals uh, and some opportunities coming up. Um, we are, I haven't talked about this much publicly, but I'm actually considering the, uh, readjustment of this show. And, uh, since we have a week off for pondering and things like that, tell me, um, you know, if you're listening on the social, on the DMS, on the Patreon, uh, you know, tell me what you like, don't like, wish you wish, wish the show was more of, or less of. Uh, in the conversations, we're trying to like, do we stay more tech? Do we go more geeky? Do we more tips? Do we do more uh, old school things, you know, coming up and things like that? Um, so, uh, you know, obviously the world has changed and the technology space has changed. And, I'm, you know, we're trying to figure out how we change with it as well. So thank you, everybody. Thank you. I hope you uh, 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 appreciate, uh, uh, you know, this uh, uh, kind of impromptu thing. I hope it's been helpful for all of you out there. And, uh, and we'll see you guys next time, hopefully with a full roster, Katie and, the, and everybody back in the, you know, back on the line here for the conversation. So I hope you, I hope you appreciate my, uh, nearly 30 minutes of ranting with you guys. So that's been fun too, to see if I can do that. Uh, so, uh, thank you so much. You have been our Aussie, awesome, mm, take two, which I won't edit. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week.
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatron. I'm Eamon. I'm Merlin. And we're a gay. And his NB. Are you a reality television connoisseur? Do you like it discussed from an LGBTQ lens? If so, a gay and his NB is the podcast for you. Hear us break down all your favorite guilty pleasure reality shows from Bravo, Drag Race, and just about everything in between. Listen to a gay and his NB on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts.